Hey, I'm James from J Technology, and we are here at the Unique Technology booth here at CES 2014. And we have uh, Sean Phillips, he's a consultant for Unique, and he's going to go over uh, this the brand new uh, drone they have here. Uh, Sean? Yeah, so this is an HX3. Uh, it's made specifically to be a video platform, uh, holding in this case a Canon 5D, uh, so about 11 pound takeoff weight. Uh, it's differentiated with some of the other drones you'll see here as being more of a workhorse. It'll stay up for over an hour in the air, uh, which I think is one of the key things everybody's looking for as these become tools for a number of different uses, whether it's a consumer that just wants to take some video of themselves kite sailing or mountain biking or skiing or maybe video their kids soccer game uh, or more some of the business applications for example this is more aimed at a professional photographer who is going to be using it uh, typically a lot of the applications now are high-end resorts uh, new homes for sale people want to get the 3d look and feel of what's going on and um, I noticed the uh uh, DSLR, um, right. what is the maximum weight uh, these drones can um, handle? Yeah, so it, this depends, but this is uh, at this one specifically is at about 11 pounds takeoff weight, of which 6 pounds is the payload. And so that's a pretty good payload for this type of class. And you know, a couple of other things just for your audience may not know is this is a hexcopter, so it's designed to have some redundancy. It actually can fly with just four propellers, so it's got redundancy in the propellers. It's also got um, GPS on board, which means that uh, if, for example, you're up in the air and the controller, which you can see right here, runs out of battery, you no longer have a link. It's smart enough to come back to where it took off and land itself. So a lot of redundancy built in to make it um, very user friendly and I think that's the key thing you're seeing uh, these have been around for a couple of years but typically fairly difficult to fly a lot of do-it-yourself but what we're seeing now and this is an example of what we're coming out with is an out-of-box ready to use tool for someone who wants to do photography from the air um, <clears throat> just a couple of questions three questions actually um, are there going to be different models uh, for this year price and availability Yes, so this model here is, will be available in March. Uh, the price of this unit is somewhere under 10K US, depending on what kind of configuration you have it on. Uh, so it's definitely sort of a professional uh, model. We will be coming out with a uh, quadcopter, which would be more in what you'd call um, consumer um, space, uh, consumer focus for about $1,000, um, and that'll be ready in the May timeframe. And, and by the way, all of these typically come with some kind of controller. And one of the cool things we've done is we designed this controller uh, to be instead of uh, something that's uh, you know funky and only usable as this. It's actually just an Android pad, smart pad. Uh, so you could do email, you could surf the web, whatever else. But also, it's got all the controller built in, both in terms of this antenna, which is communicating uh, with the flying system, and this, which is getting near real-time video down. Uh, from the camera platform. And another cool thing just to note is on these kind of sophisticated uh, platforms, they always have a gimbal built in. So one of the things you have to be worried about when you're flying is you may end up um, with wind or other sorts of jitter, which would make your picture look wobbly. But this is, you'll see, when I lift it up and I start moving it, the camera stays in one place. And that's part of what you're getting with this more high-end, sophisticated platform. Okay, well, thank you, Sean. All right. Have a good show.